Hello and welcome to my video about Turbo Warhammer 3 and the quiet rework of features. Like, uh, let's talk about it uh, in this video. Like, uh, I'm not so much uh, uploading videos for Turbo War, but uh, I'm interested in Turbo Warhammer 3 and its release date and uh, the re rework of features uh, that they promised. And uh, we will see that they didn't um, quite deliver in those reworks. Like, um, as you can see, um, I, I pulled it out on the Siege rework on Total Warhammer 3. Like, today came out a new uh, video, and I will show you later some evidence that they. I don't think they quite reworked it. They tested it, they tried it, they did it. It may be the best, but that I don't believe it, it's a good rework. Like, first of all, look at the map. Uh, now we have like three um, points where we can attack, but they only showing us the defenders. Like the the player right now is only defending, and the Ki is attacking. But the other way around, like everybody, like uh, <laughs> legends or something, he will exploit it. People like uh, put the archers on the corner and destroy only the tower on the corner, and like the Ki will like go everybody here and defend this position, but then everybody dies of archers. Like that's the problem right now of like siege re um, sieges in Total War Two, that the archers are so OP that everybody gets killed and you have zero deaths because every archer. You're shooting down the tower and then you can shoot like your arrows into the enemies and they all die and uh some other reworks that i don't like really like i've shown you now and can gain more during combat by holding locations around the settlement minor supply um the settlements like this is cool that you have no other location to stay but in reality you don't want to stay there like you, you're going straight to your main point maybe and do like a blob thing. Like, uh, let me show, like you're placing your defense lines maybe on this bridge or something and then everybody comes in and the KE comes with this huge blob and you're doing a magic stuff, uh, a magic, uh, some magic and everybody dies there. Yeah, maybe like a doom rocket, like <laughs> the rest doing. And everybody dies. That's normally how it works, but not the points. Points are weird. Key building and, and the key building, as you can see, it is providing you some points. stat that is like useless against super strong KIs, like the legendary KIs, is uh, useless. Uh, you don't need that. <laughs> the, the KI gets so many buffs that it's not worth it to get your little buffs. Points have free designated build Free disconnected building, like you can build like <laughs> it's like tower defense this time around on Total War. Like look at this building, you can build this, and it's a, like a tower and shooting in the into this middle ground or something, or construction. building construction like a little wall that I think it's easy to to kill like thousand health. Like today in Total War Warhammer Two. You you going with all your monsters into the uh, normally on the like you attacking with all the monsters <laughs> every like door you can get and rushing through it and with the other monster or the not normal monsters you going through the um going on the walls with the ladders that are coming out of nowhere and uh, this will be like. Mm, for the KE, maybe he the, when the KE go, is going around, that will be interesting. But normally the KE is attacking that and it's destroyed easily. Like, why? Why are you doing that? And it's it's like a little bit of tower defense for what reason? I can see maybe they try to attack the KE. The KE is trying to attack now from two sides. Maybe that's better, but uh, in reality it's not very cool or not good. And uh, I will like show you that in the newer maps that showed today, like this is a other map. Uh, they they saying like here's a century work with this 
with uh, the, the Chinese uh, faction that they printed out in, in a couple months, but uh, they showed us this one, but in the new version, like in the new video today, like as you can see today, they showed us a different um, map, like as you can see. The drums over that's that's most likely a straight line or uh, as you can see <laughs> it's most likely a straight line <laughs> and it's not a rework as everybody said like <laughs> total war one 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 line of wall total war two two lines of wall total war three three lines of wall nice i i, I mean i i don't mind like 360 degrees uh features i didn't play that i only started with warhammer 1 but at this time like one one had all already problems total, total war warhammer 2 the same problems <laughs> and 3 all, also the same problems because nothing changed really besides one one more but the mechanics are still the same you you're placing an archer here or like what what you're doing right now is like placing the archers here and destroying maybe this tower and this tower and so no tower is shooting on us and every archer is like placed here and shooting to the enemies on the walls or behind the walls like the KI is bad at defending and so you they died and you win those siege that's not cool and uh, in three in total war three it's like the same. I believe it will be the same. Of course, it will be the same. The KE will be still bad at defending and attacking. Like, look at this. <laughs> it's still a straight line. In, in like, there's no interesting. And every like, this is maybe three staircases are uh, cool, but I believe it will be again blobs like uh, here and like the brats are shooting one doom rocket into it and everybody dies from the enemies and nothing will change really um as i can now show or oh, like look at this rework look at the statue please and the foot and, every inch of every and? Street hard fought and hmm. <laughs> interesting foot placement there but the uh, this bridge is okay i guess because a free you can attack with three lines or and you need to defend with three lines that's interesting but why you want to defend on the bridges when you can defend here like why <laughs> it's still like one line to the bridges and so you could defend there or maybe behind the bridges like on the left side why you would want to defend on the walls i don't know and uh let me let me show you also where the like the towers nothing new but the rework with yeah major complaint i mean the goblins did that the same in total war 2 and total war 1 they could also have letters and i don't mind the letters maybe it looks weird yeah if this looks like more of infantry yes could be also reason but really do we need that most likely the the worst problem is uh in total one uh you're waiting one round like attacking a siege you need the siege weapon and you most likely uh, drop the siege weapon in the beginning of the game and got with like the infantry uh to with the ladders on the walls and not with the siege weapon so you don't in total one and two you don't use the siege weapons for what reason the infantry was always faster and always fa faster on the walls with the ladders why why are we still using ladders <laughs> this is this describes it really good there is something very weird unnatural about seeing demons of i don't know not using magic on their claws to scale the walls it would be cool like you have demons they have like claws and stuff they could go up the 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 walls and delete the letters man or you can like there are ghosts in um in total war so you maybe they can uh, uh, fly above or fly through the wall like flying through the wall okay I guess so because there are also buildings they shouldn't go through the walls but they could 
fly like on top and then land there but not like really using weird normal letters that is weird uh this is okay but why you want to defend here when you can defend there and this is still the straight line this is not a rework like there's the big wall there's the big wall <laughs> we have like a, such a cool background but we will not use it we will only use till maybe till there and that's it so it's pretty weird to yeah this is what i see uh what everybody what i mentioned already this this foot is going a little bit weird but it, it, it's fine i guess i guess it's fine um nothing major i think i complain about like the models i don't complain about the models the models are awesome it's fine um what i maybe dislike about like um uh, the end of the video um like i show you um i feel like the in it's going a little bit too much of uh free kingdoms that the, the heroes are so strong that you actually like this is uh this is it it looks more like free kingdoms where like you're fighting the heroes and you have like the hero stuff and every every hero this uh, is killing uh the infantry and it does that's not strategy anymore that that total war i mean it's warhammer that's not strategy I'm, I'm i'm not complaining i'm loving this game i'm i'm playing them a lot those two games i like them but this will be a reskin of those two games of the already existing games and some people want to have the pre-order, like they're hyping up the pre-order uh, the pre-order faction of this game. Why? Why we want to have a pre-order faction? And the blood or, or the this little DLC blood for the blood god. One euro or one buck or something. I don't know. Why we want that? Why it's not in the base game? I mean the pre-order faction new, new faction, nice. But why we want to spend like from it's cost maybe 50 50 and then after uh, 50 60 bucks and after that you want to buy, still buy like 10 bucks of a pre-order faction why like the pre-order faction of Total War 2 was I think Norska Norska is still in a bad shape uh, let me show you um, Norska is getting this is a good channel. You should watch him and subscribe right, to him. We have to talk to demon. <laughs> he is still shitting <laughs> on Norska because they are so bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about the pre order faction. I don't want to pre order Total War 3 anymore. Oh, I. I never did, but not even the slightest anymore. Like, this is not good. I don't want it. And so, this is my complaints about, a little bit of complaints about Total War, Warhammer 3. It's something I not usually did. Normally, I'm normally an enemy weeble doing Azure Lane stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think it's fine. And uh, I will think uh, do a new video about Evelyn in the bit maybe, or tomorrow or next week I don't know. So have a nice day, and uh, hopefully this game is a little bit better in on release and not like this. And this visual stuff is it's tiring me. I want more gameplay and not like hey he is a cool villain. Look at this, he can stand, and then afterwards he can fly. Uh, where is he flying? He's flying! He can stand here and then he's flying. Maybe a turn a flying mode and standing mode, maybe? Or maybe it's only for the show that he's standing. So, yeah. See you later. Have a nice day and bye bye.